Hey guys, it's me Ram here and welcome to my first ever New Zealand competition vlog. In today's video, I'm going to be vlogging Palmerston North 2023. At the moment, I am just currently finishing up my packing since I am spending two nights at Palmerston North at my friend Z's family's house. So yep, I'm just going to go ahead and finish all of my packing. My flight's at 1.15pm tomorrow. I'm super excited for this competition and I'll see you guys tomorrow on my way to the airport. Alright guys, I just landed in Palmerston North, the great city and I'm currently with Z's parents and we are headed to Z's place. Change of plans, we actually decided to go sightseeing. Z's parents are taking me to the biggest wind farm in the southern hemisphere. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. Look at this guys, I am surrounded by windmills. This is the biggest wind farm in the southern hemisphere and uh, some farm animals behind me. But yeah, Palmy is so nice and cool and very chilled out weather. Sheep. All right then, I had a really fun day sightseeing in Palmerston North and now we're off for some South Indian food. The place is called Arranged Marriage, a taste of South India. What does South India taste like? I should know. I'm the one who went there and got myself DNF'd. And here's my South Indian meal for the day. It is masala dosa that's Indian hot. Just finished a really nice and heavy South Indian meal and now my stomach is completely filled. Thank you Z's parents. And yeah, now we're officially headed back. All right guys, I just got back home a little while ago and that actually wraps up a really fun first day in Palmerston North. I went on a plane, went up a mountain to the biggest windmill farm in the Southern Hemisphere. And I also ate some South Indian food all in New Zealand. Who would have thought? What an eventful day. Anyways, we just got back home a little while ago. I just got ready for bed and did some last minute practice for tomorrow. And yep, I think I'm ready for the competition. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, good morning. I just woke up. It's currently like 6.40 a.m. right now. It's the morning of the competition. I didn't get the best sleep since I was a little bit nervous for today, but that's totally fine. Hopefully it doesn't impact my performance today. And yep, we're all super excited and I hope the competition goes well. I'll see you guys on the way there. Officially on the way to my first proper New Zealand WCA competition. This is very exciting. All right, so I've reached the venue and I'm currently scrambling 4x4 with Alexander Vucic. Just finished running the first group of 4x4 and now it is time for me to compete. I'm using the Moyu Aosu GTS2M which is like a flash from the past. But yeah, let's just go ahead and submit it now. Yeah. There we go. First official time solve in New Zealand. I'm ready. Just competed in 4x4 it was kind of trash if I'm being honest. I lost 2 out of like a 51 average which made it like 52. I don't really care. 4x4 wasn't my main focus. But yeah, anyway, we have 100 next in quick succession. So I got to go compete. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. Yep. I did 100, it was pretty alright. I got like a 23 average, which should make finals, so I don't really care. Oh, hi. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> alright, guys, I'm here with Jasper Murray, probably the most hardworking and determined speed tuber I know. He currently holds Firmix OCR, had WR for like a year. But yeah, do you reckon you could get it back? Uh, hopefully, but. I believe in you. The entire New Zealand community believes in you. And I'm here with Yuki Gao, probably the best tuber tour in New Zealand right now. Not a New Zealand citizen, but yeah, she's really fast, so. Keep an eye out for me. Anyways, we are racing no bar scrambles right now. This is like six moves. I got a 1.6 and she found like some insane solution that she can probably like sub one. Yeah, there you go. She's so fast. 
Anyways, I'll catch you guys whenever the next event is. I don't even know what it is. Now it's time for me to compete in 3x3. Three three. Will I get the sub 10? Let's find out. Let's go ahead and do some 3x3. Three three. I'm in the middle of my 3x3 three three round. I just realized I finally broke the curse of not making 4x4 four four finals. I made it by one spot, finally. Yep. Nice. Just finished 3x3. Three three. I finally got the sub 10 after so many years. I'm so happy, honestly. This was such a big mental barrier for me. And hopefully I can improve this PR even further because now that this mental barrier is gone, yeah, my third solve wasn't great as you guys saw. I did like the e perm from the wrong angle. But yeah, anyway, can't complain too much. I broke a huge mental barrier and hopefully I can improve this going forward. Oh my gosh, I just met the oh best cube ever. <laughs> He's vlogging for his channel too, so... Would you like I, to I, I haven't face revealed, but I'm sure down bad Cuban. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I will link it somewhere up here. I don't know. But yeah. And Yuki Gao, the greatest two by tour, is back. <laughs> and hi. Anyways, we're just scrambling some 3x3 right now and after this I have 5x5, five five, so yeah. Alright then, it's time to compete in 5x5. Five five. I don't even know why I'm competing in this, I haven't practiced it seriously since like last year. But yeah, let's see how it goes. Yeah. Just did 5 by 5 it was kind of trash. I didn't even get a sub 2 minute average. And Aaron, how did you do? Uh, that was pretty good. I think I was 139 or something, which is decent for me. Oh, that's solid. Anyways, it's time for our extremely long lunch break now because uh, we just ran away from the other group. Uh, I don't know how good that is, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Anyways, we're going for lunch now with Yuki's family to Subway, I think, because I'm vegetarian. Yay! Yeah! I will see you guys there. Here's the subway and according to Anairin, it used to be a pizza hut a long like time ago. Thank you. <laughs> lunch time with the gang. <laughs> Alright, so I just had a great lunch at Subway and Alexander's drinking some Coke. We, he just got a sub one average in five five, which is yeah. pretty great. Congrats. Yeah. Anyways, now it's time for Pyramix and before I compete, I'm gonna go get some footage of Jasper. Ah, mm. uh, unfortunate news, Jasper Murray plus 2 out of a 1.46 Pyramix world record average. That's a little bit saddening, but I'm sure he'll get it in future rounds. The Solvi plus 2 was actually 1.05, which would have been the OCR single, but hey, I'm sure he'll get both OCR single and WR average back. Anyways, it is time for me to do Pirano, so let's see how it goes. Okay, I just finished Pyramids, it was pretty bad. I messed up the two easiest scrambles and the good thing is Alexander got a sub three average and I got the last sol one camera. So the footage should be like before or after this. Let's see. Anyways, now I'm just gonna warm up for two by two and then it's a two by two round. All right, I just submitted my cube for two by two round one and here we go. Let's hope it goes well. Oh, DNF. Oh, shoot. <laughs> just got done with 2x2 two two. it was so trash as mine yeah there it is and now i just have pyramix unfortunately dnf out of like a good 2x2 two two average would have been like 1.7 i don't know and without the plus 2 maybe like 1.5 i don't know but yeah it was like a 2 average it was really bad but should make round 2 so be all good yep Yo, we just finished Pyramix round 2. Mine was a joke as well. It was like a 6 average. I don't even know if I'll make finals. How about you? How do you go? I got that 2.4 average. Unfortunate, all good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. Okay, yeah, anyway, we have to go scrambling for group yeah. 2. And yeah, after this is 4x4 finals. I've never made it to a 4x4 finals before, so I'm so excited for this. Anyway, I'll see you guys at the scrambling station. At the scrambling table right now with Jasper scrambling Pyramix round 2. Haven't gotten much time to update the vlog besides competing and stuff, but yeah. And Iron's gonna show us how to solve a magic afterwards. Really? Yeah! I'm actually excited. I saw him using it before. Yeah, Here same. I'm, I'm excited for this. <laughs> anyway, all of that is afterwards because now I have to compete in 4x4 final. Here we go. Yep.
All right, I just finished four by four. Kind of got messed over by OLL parity like four times, but it was like a 50 flat something average. I don't really care at this point. I think it'll be last place, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. Anyways, now it's the part where everyone's been waiting for. Anirin is going to give us a little bit of a history lesson about magic and show us how quickly he can do it with a G5 timer. Yeah, so the magics uh, were removed at, at the end of 2012. Here he goes. Here we go. Imagine with the 4.56. Yeah, there we go. So that's all you need to know of magic. Same thing every time. That's it. That's part of the reason it got removed. Yeah, exactly. Remove it. It's good it got removed and, from uh, the WC. Another interesting thing to note is the world record for this end up being 0.69. And G2 timers couldn't say like a third of time. So it could never say 0.99. Oh yeah, so 0.95 as well. Yeah, 0.95. There was a whole bunch of times. Like every third time it couldn't say. That's ridiculous. So if you look at um, the old magic singles. Uh, rankings. There uh, are gaps. The single, you'll see gaps, or you also see times where there's huge amount of ties and there are a lack of gaps. Because later on, there were like those glow in the dark G2 timers and some G3 timers, because those were released at the at some point in 2012. So you will see some times, but it's like a why does 0.99 barely ever occur, but 0.96 is like a massive time. Exactly, yeah. And it's because of G2 timers. Well, thank you, Anirin. We appreciate the history lesson. I mean, I do have my own magic sitting in a, in a drawer that barely ever gets touched, which is small on these. Like the actual tiles are smaller. Well, that's pretty cool. I guess that brings an end to Anirin's history lesson. Thank you. Stay tuned for part two at the next competition. <laughs> Now we're just video calling with Elaz because there's 5x5 five five finals and uh, none of us have made it. What would you like to say to the vlog, Elaz? Alex is requested to go. Maybe someday. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, I have to go scramble now. Bye bye. I just finished judging some 5x5 five five and now I'm so tired. Please I'm sec I came second for the whole average. How did you do in 5x5? Five five? Uh, about you? No, you didn't do 5x5. Five five. Are you ready for 2x2 two two final? I remember. We haven't even done two by two rounds. This is gonna be kind of bad, but let's do 100 final, I guess. Yeah. Just finished my 100 finals as expected, it didn't go that well, it was just normal, yeah. This is my friend from university who came all the way to support me, Nag. Not from lives... uni, I'm only like 20 minutes away. Yeah, just 20 minutes from Palmy. But yeah, thank you for coming. She's come to watch 2x2 final. Anyway, I have 2x2 second round in a bit. Uh, group 1 is right now and then yeah, I have group 2. I'm in group 2. So yeah, see you guys. Okay then, it's time for me to do 2x2 two two round 2. Uh, I was not in the first group, but the first group, that was a sub one. Oh hi. <laughs> yeah, that was a sub one in the first group, but yeah, let's hope the second group goes well as well. Two by two round two actually turned out much better than I expected. I got like a 1.8 average on really bad scrambles and the group before me had really good scrambles and I still came second in the round. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that and that kind of gives me hope for finals. Anyways, now I'm heading back to judge three by three round two and then it'll be my turn to compete. All right, it is time for me to compete in three by three round two. I just submitted my cube and say hi to Alicia. Hello. It's my vlog. Ah, oh. hey round squad. How's it going? It's going good. Anyway, yeah, I'm pretty tired, but I just submitted my cube for 3 by 3 round 2, so let's see how it goes. I'm just gonna win. Okay, I just finished 3 by 3 round 2. The average was nothing special. It was like 10, but on the last solve, I did a double X course and got an 8.28. That's very close to PR. How was your 3 by 3 round 2? Ah, you failed sub 5 as well. Yeah. And here's Jasper, all set for Pyramid Finals. Best of luck. Yeah, thank you. Here we go. Pyramid Finals right now. I've submitted my queue. And yeah, let's see how it goes. Yeah. Just finished Pyramix finals as always, it was kind of mid, but now it's the big one, 2 by 2 finals. Alright then, I guess, here we go, 2 by 2 finals. According to Alexander, I have a lot to edit, so what would yeah. you like to see? So he's, going to be, uh, he's going to be doing a cool as 24 hour editing session. Exactly. Yeah. Gotta work harder than cubing harder, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yep. 8 seconds. Yeah. Nice! 
Oh, I haven't really vlogged much since then, but I did two by two and three by three finals and got a really good average in two by two finals of 1.68 seconds, and that gave me the win. And as for three by three finals, I got like an 11 average, which wasn't great, but hey, who cares? I'm happy with my results. And there we go, that was the award ceremony. I won 2x2. It was a cool moment, so of course we have to celebrate at an Indian restaurant. Got some of this super hot dal makhani with garlic naan and yeah, I'm really enjoying this meal. So hey guys, I'm back. I may have just forgotten to vlog after yesterday's Indian dinner but I'm back at Z's house now and I have a flight in 3 hours. So yesterday's competition for me was absolutely amazing. It was everything I could have hoped for and more. I had some great results but more importantly I had a lot of fun. It was my first time ever meeting Jasper Murray and Yuki Gao and it was absolutely amazing meeting both of them. Three of us plus Alexander basically just made up the fast 2 by 2 table and we pretty much spent all of our time together. Look at my amazing certificate. Place first in 2 by 2 by 2 with a respectable average. What more could I have wanted? Anyways, I should get ready to head to the airport now and I'll see you guys on the way there. Goodbye Palmerston North. What a great city, but unfortunately got to go back to Auckland now. Just at the airport right now, waiting for my flight to board. It should board in another two minutes, so yep, we all good. Unfortunately, I have to get back to work once I'm back in Auckland. Just boarded, should be taking off.